Live from our Jackson Studios. Uh, <laughs> live from the Midtown Jackson Studio and live from well in to Deep 13, this is Last Call Cafe on Spreaker with the animalistic Jay the Brain Man, the animalistic Matthew the Wizard Nichols, and the pause for consideration, Steve, the Baxman Baxley. I'm Franklin Pangborn, your announcer, with Morgul as the friendly drone. Let's go to the cafe and find out what's going on and join the guys on a whole crowd. It's Lost Call Cafe on Spreaker! Hey! How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Corsican Ball. That's right, it's another Sunday night, and it feels so bizarrely right. Another edition of The Last Call Cafe here on Spreaker from iHeartMedia. I am your host, Steve, the Baxman Bax, at least one of the hosts. Let me get together with the rest of them. I can't try to put on my T-Mobile bow tie, naughty cat. <laughs> uh, here they are, folks. He is, of course, the master of his own domain, the manager of champions, host of J. Debris Man Presents Wrestling M.A. Hut. Starring the back, starring the brain and the backsman, almost put me on top. Sorry, uh, and he's always Betty White's favorite chew toy next to the rock. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, the one, the only. <laughs> and our other host, my friends, he deserves no introduction because the gamers love him, and so did the gamerettes. Strange, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, the gamer's best friend, and we all know why, because he knows and he is the best. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the wizard, Matthew Nichols. Everyone. All right. Okay, we're rocking, we're rolling, and uh, we say good evening, and we're dedicating this show to the memory of the one and only Mr. Jackie Mason. Whose wit and wisdom was often used very nobly, I might add. That's right. We're going to have a uh, little uh, Jackie Mason bit of comedy next week. So, Jackie Mason, the only thing we regret, you should regret, was doing chicken soup with Lynn Redgrave. <whistles> wow. Anyway, uh. Let's get on with the show, ladies and gentlemen. It is time on the LCC, the L2C4, our usual thing, as I go to Mr. Franklin Pangborn, so he can do his announcements rapid. And now we'll pick the brain of the brain. It's time for all of us to share in a little bit of the brain wave, sponsored by nobody yet. Okay, Brain, what you got? Hold on. Yeah, 
have Steve Bitches Gilbert Gottfried saying, you couldn't even wipe my ass, let alone do a half-decent imitation of me, okay? And there you go. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, hey, without Gilbert, we are nothing. Anyway, it is time now for a long-awaited and often imitated, but not good enough to be on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Mr. Pangborn, do what you got to do. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the weekly Gamer News. The Wizard at the Udeco, sponsored by Pluto.tv. Drop in, tune in, and turn on. It's free. And now, here's the Wizard at the Udeco with this week. Gamer News. Okay, this week on Gamer News, well, I should say last week or week before, they had their TenoCon 2021, and Warframe has some big announcements. Well, for starters, we got more info on the new quest line, the new war, and we're going to have three new playable characters. We have the Grenier Soldier Kel-175, Corpus Engineer Diesel, and... and a character that some of you Warframe players may know, Tension, it is uh, it's going to be playable. And also, Warframe is coming to mobile, and the one thing that a lot of us have been waiting for for many years now, Crossplay and Cross Save is finally going to be coming to Warframe later this year, around the same time as the new War expansion. So, yes, we're finally getting crossplay and cross save, and I can tell you this, it's about damn time. Because I got several friends who play on PC, and since I play on PlayStation 4, or should I say PlayStation 5, I do not want to start all that progress over because I've worked my butt off for the past seven damn years playing Warframe, grinding all that stuff. And also, Pokemon Unite, the new MOBA game, has recently come out, and I am currently playing it right now in a ranked match. And also, it's become quite popular. So far, I mean, it's got a few problems, but I know a few of YouTubers played it. And also, I got to be a part of that stream from Alpha VTuber, I got to play alongside him, them, since they're lived on binary. I got to play with them, I got to play with Ember or Escape, I got to play with Wildline, and play with Magic in a rank play. On, and boy was I happy. I wasn't in the voice chat, but at least I got to play with them. Yeah, it was quite a, it was quite a stream. And yeah, Pokemon Unite's a pretty fun game. Yeah. So it's got a few problems, hopefully they'll patch those out. And also, Skyward Sword HD recently came out, and I just got it a few days ago. It's been pretty fun. And that's pretty much it for gamer news. Um, and that's the news for this week. Sponsored in part by the fine folks at Pluto.tv. They got channels devoted to everything from sports to gaming and anime. Channels 801 to 830. No, channels 801 to 848. So if you want to geek out on gaming and anime, hit Pluto.tv. They got the best, including 
One Piece and Naruto with a little Yu-Gi-Oh! channels on channel 834, 836, and 840. Tune in next week for more Gamer News by... Uh, sponsored by Pluto.tv. Tune in, turn on, and it's free. Guys, back to you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Pangborn. My pleasure. Okay. All righty. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going to get back our uh, comedy clips uh, next week, so uh, don't miss it. We got George Carlin. We're going to have some Jackie Mason and a few others. So that will all come up on our next show. Finally get back to doing what we do best, and that's absolutely destroy the world with comedy and laughter. Or save the world. Either way, it'll be good for you. All right. Let's... I think it'd be more like saving the world because during the times we live in, comedy needs to save the world. So we are sa- we're going to be saving the world. In fact, that's what our motto is. Saving the world one laugh at a time. Or words to that effect. Okay, it is time uh, for a little bit of uh, wrestling news and the big top story. I know we got two rumors we have to report, but we got a big top story tonight, courtesy of Wrestling Inc. Jeff Hardy was scheduled to do a meet and greet this Monday after Raw at a record bar in Kansas City. But the event has been canceled due to Jeff Hardy testing positive for COVID-19. The following statement was made by Record Bar on its Facebook page. Quote, We regret to inform you that the event with Jeff Hardy to take place Monday, July 26 at Record Bar in Kansas City, Missouri. What a coincidence. Mm, Excuse me. Uh, We'll have to be postponed till a later date. Jeff Hardy just tested positive for COVID this morning and will have to quarantine for the next two weeks and will not participate in any live events for the next two weeks. For now, all tickets will be held to await a rescheduled date. Once the new date is announced, if you cannot attend the new date, please email info at leopresents.com for a refund. You'll receive another email from us when the new date is not, is announced. Now, Hardy last wrestled on this past Monday's Raw, defeating NXT champions Perry and Cross. As of this report, WWE and Jeff Hardy have yet to comment, so we all wish Jeff a speedy recovery. Now, let's uh, get to a couple of, uh, well, we're going to say... Uh, many rumors, one of which is true, and the other wish, and the other one is, well, being kept under the radar, as it will, if you will. And of course, the uh, both biggies. But we're going to tease that just a little bit. We got a little more info in an appearance on Wrestling Observer Radio with Little Dizzer. So remember, take as a grain of salt. And Garrett Gonzalez, AEW World Champion Kenny Omega, talked about AEW working with other promotions. Omega, also the AAA Mega Champion and Impact Wrestling World Champion, talked about why he wanted to work with other promotions. Omega said, quote, I really wanted to kind of wanted to open the floodgates and show what it's like when people play nice with one another. I really think this is a situation where only the fans win. End quote. Of course, the big question remains whether AEW and WWE, currently the top two promotions in the U.S., will ever be able to coexist or work together. Now, Omega uh, isn't expecting anything on that front anytime soon, but with the wrestling world evolving, he isn't discounting the possibility. Quote, The one huge crossover. Will you ever see WWE team up with anybody? Omega asks. Who knows? I feel as the world evolves and changes and time goes by, people become more open-minded to everything, whether it be the wrestlers themselves, people in the office, or the fans. I wouldn't hold my breath, but at the same time, I would never say it's impossible. 
Uh, this is not the first time Omega has addressed the potential partnership between AEW and the 2WE. In a previous appearance on Wrestling Observer Radio, Omega stated he was more than willing to see AEW work with WWE should the right situation come about. Uh, thank you, Wrestling Observer and Wrestling Inc. for the transcription. All right. Uh, we have a new match added to AEW Dark Evolution. That match is Luther versus Big Shorty or Big Shoddy Lee. Uh, so the updated card will be Luther versus Big Shoddy Lee, Chuck Taylor versus Pack, Scorpio Sky versus Fuego del Sol, and Chris Statlander and Tay Conti versus the Bunny and Maddie Renkowski. Ooh, nice, nice. Nice choices there. So uh, that's uh, Monday on YouTube. If you were watching tonight's edition of... I'm going to turn off my fan here. Uh, Now, if you're watching tonight's edition of Family Feud, you may have noticed uh, they had a uh, little meeting with uh, um, Arquette and Jack K. Harry's team. And among those in the team of uh, David Arquette's was AEW's Jungle Boy and pretty Peter Avalon. Suffice to st- oh, and P.B. Herman was with Jack K.'s team, among other uh, comics. It was, I think, Team Arquette versus uh, Team Rubens. And holy shakutami. Uh, I tell you, uh, Paul Rubens, known as, um, of course, we all know and love him as Pee Wee Herman. I'm sure they love him in Miami. Uh, man, that guy looks good for a 43-year-old, uh, person. I think he could still literally play, uh, I, I, he could still literally, uh, hedge on old Pee Wee. The uh, Pee Wee Get Up. Okay, let us, uh, before we uh, get to the general, uh, let's get you some uh, little rumors and a possible factoid. Uh, Several wrestling fans on social media pointed out that Living Color is now following AEW on both Twitter and Instagram. While this doesn't necessarily confirm anything, could be another sign that CM Punk is all elite. Living Colors cult of personality was punk was Punk's interest theme in both uh, WWE and UFC. Now, <laughs> it's no secret that AEW chairman Tony Khan has been willing to spend money to acquire the rights of popular songs for his performers. Furthermore, Punk also started following AEW on Twitter recently. Now, again, this is coming from Wrestling Inc., not from us. So consider, as they say, the source. Uh, Furthermore, Punk, well, I've already mentioned that. It was reported earlier, AEW world champ Kenny Omega commented on Punk possibly joining AEW while appearing on that show that we mentioned. Um, It is getting more and more realistic that... uh, Brian Danielson, formerly known as Daniel Bryan, has signed with AEW and could be, could be debuting on their, uh, I can find it here, on their, uh, on AEW's uh, Dynamite on August, time in August. Let me get the uh, proper Bertrand here. Boop, boop, boop. Boom. Get the... Uh, ah, thank you very much. Um, there we go. Boom. Oops. Hold on. Back there. Boom. Now let's get it. This is from Forbes, folks. Uh, Daniel Bryan has reportedly signed with AEW, according to a report by Cassidy Haynes of Body Slam Net. He reported that Bryan is 100% locked in, with quotes, 
With AEW added, Brian will look to work a lighter schedule for comparable money to his WWE days. Uh, AEW also landing Daniel Bryan, who will obviously be going under Brian Danielson. Is a double coup would be in a double coup would be right in line with the major surprises Tony Khan has been teasing for AEW. AEW has a pair of major shows coming up in the sold out AEW All Out pay per view in Chicago September 5th and its New York City debut inside Arthur Ashe Stadium on September 22nd, which is also becoming a sellout as well. Haynes further reported that Brian has been looking at working a reduced schedule for comparable money that he was making at WWE. He will also reportedly have creative input and the opportunity to work in Japan. And uh, reportedly, we say this reportedly going to that other story. Uh, you might want to watch out when AEW returns to Chicago. That is when the rumors of it being official uh, will come a force. Of course, for us, uh, we will believe it when we see it. But for right now, uh, you can mark this down. Daniel Bryan, I mean, excuse me, Brian Danielson will be all elite in New York City at the Arthur Ashe Stadium, which, if I'm not mistaken, will be the first time that a, um, uh, shall we say, a sec, uh, um, another big wrestling promotion, I try to find words, will be invading uh, Vinnie Max turf. But as I say, we will see. We will see. I'm, I'm, I'm betting about 50 cyber bucks that the 22nd of September... Arthur Ashe Stadium is going to be rocking with the words, yes, yes, yes. Unless they don't have the copyright to that. Anywho's. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? You think, uh, you think Daniel, uh, Daniel Bryan or whatever name he will be using, probably Brian Dixon, uh, is indeed, uh, or has indeed, been signed by All Elite Wrestling and they're going to try to keep it under wraps until the Arthur Ashe show or the Arthur Ashe Arena show in September or could there possibly be something in the works sort of uh, in let's say getting the counter de for Augusto Pinochet uh Give me the next month, guys. Okay, let's go to the next month. There we go. Or shall we say uh, Wednesday the 11th, let's just say, of August. That they might spring a surprise on the 11th. Rain? What, what uh, say ye? Nothing. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna look at August, and if it's in August, or hey, if they even can do a shock surprise uh, at the Arthur Ashe Arena in September, I have a feeling that's gonna be the. Uh, I'm not gonna say the uh, dagger, but it just might. Uh, uh, put the WWE in some big time damage control I mean after all they still have not yet recovered from some of the uh, bad vibage of uh, of raw ratings but we'll find that out rather short we'll find that out soon that's your wrestling report for this show and it is time, friends. Pangs, do your best. And uh, it is time to put the wrongdoers in their place. Well, the mighty belch! It's time for the insidious belch of the week. And here with that is General Big Jimmy, Billy Bob Bo Schwartz, First Lieutenant Jimmy, and his brother. 
the first trip, Lieutenant Jimmy Jam. Gentlemen. Wrong sound. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Smoke them if you got them. Eat them if you bake them. Oh, it's good to be back. Thank you, Jimmy, and thank you, Jimmy, for your help on uh, last week, or actually, no. But I'm back, and I'm ready to rock and roll. First of all, Brain, how you doing? Good. Wizard, how are things going in your world? Going well. Vexman, how are you? Eh, I'm okay. Just trying to get things back in order. Yeah, I understand that. Buzz! Oh, tonight we have got a belch. Do it. Oh! You got ready? Yes, sir, I'm ready. All right. Let's rock this puppy and say, without shadow of doubt, we are given the uh, belch of the week to, uh, well, oh, gee whiz, who should we give it to? Oh, yes, we go give it to the Big 12. That's right, during the media weeks, they invited, uh, the SEC invited Texas and Oklahoma to join them. And believe it or not, they may say no, but their money says yes. So, to the big, to the uh, big twelve, we give uh, the belch this week. I know it ain't much, but hey, it's the Olympics. What do you expect? Um, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, yes. We uh, fed the Belchatron two thousand. Uh. Our brother Jimmy will have uh, details on that. Jimmy, what did we feed the uh, August uh, body? Hmm, let's see. We fed them some some about four double whopper meals, two two liters root beers. And we fed it some chocolate sundaes. And that's about it. Okay, we're ready and he's been shook. Yeah, we shook him up real good. How'd you shake him up? Well, well, well sir, we, uh, we uh, showed him what she looked like in a tutu. Oh, you did not. Yes, sir, we did. And that would shake anybody up. All right. When ready, fire! <coughs> Whoa, and you even had a Hershey kiss. Yes, sir, we added that just for flavoring. Whew. Wow, wish you added that for uh, something else, because that belch just P.U'd, man. Whoa. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. Boss, get into Yugo. I didn't bring the Mercedes, but I brought the Yugo. It lasts longer. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, General, for one of the weakest belt for one of the weakest uh, nominations for Belch of the Week I have ever heard. Okay, folks, that is going to wrap things up. Next week, we're back in the comedy. Our comedy club is reopened next week. Please be here for that. So, anyone got any last request? Um, well, the latest video of the Dumb and Super Show will be up in about 30 some odd minutes as Jimmy, a.k.a. Dumb and Stupid, plays Punch Out. Ooh. And also, the Dumb and Stupid show is now at three subscribers, and 
in terms of my Twitch, I'm at 55 followers now. Oh, that's that is something. We got we must we must applaud them. Applaud Jimmy and uh, and Matthew. There you go. Give them all the applause there. All right, it's time for us to say bye-bye. Don't forget, we are here every Sunday night unless something happens at this same time. We go live tape Sunday night at 11, and then it'll drop somewhere else. This has been a presentation for Jay, for Matt, for me, Steve. This has been a presentation of Mystifying Creativity Productions in association with BrainScan Entertainment. And, of course, the Gamer News is provided to us and produced by Wizard World Productions in association with Spreaker from iHeartMedia. We'll see you next week. Yeah.